hello guys today we are starting with the new portion it is of modern history governor generals of india the reason that i am starting this section is like okay, you are going to see chronologically how the things were happening in the modern history and later on we will be discussing about uh, modern history in the times to come okay after uh, these governor generals and viceroy i will be taking acts uh, all the seven, uh, 1773 acts charter acts government of india act act council acts all those so you will be understanding all this chronologically you will be following all these lectures and watching this okay so with the thought that friction in your life will let you realize your potential so keep working hard okay so first governor general war warren hasting actually warren hasting arrived in india in 1772 only and uh, later on if an company uh, started to british government started to think that company is earning so much of profit so they should have some control over it so they started the system of governor and uh, governor general which were later made the governor general of india and then viceroy will be seeing that okay so while you will be seeing all these you will understand that how the things unfolded mm-hmm. So regulating act of seventeen seventy three was passed after uh, he becoming the first governor general of Bengal. Okay, and then act of seventeen eighty one because seventeen seventy three act established the Supreme Court at Calcutta. So Supreme Court जब Calcutta में बन जाएगा seventeen seventy three के act से तो दो चीजें हो रही हैं एक तो governor general council भी था तो दोनों का power overlap कर रहा था तो उनको divide कर दिया गया seventeen eighty one के act के साथ फिर देन देर इज पिट्स इंडिया एक्ट ऑफ सेवनटीन एटी फोर वट एवर लूप होल्स दैट वेर देर इन सेवनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री एक्ट विल बी प्लगड इन द सेवनटीन एटी फोर एक्ट ओके मीन वाइल इन डेली द रोहिल्लाज वेर द प्रॉब्लम सो रोहिल्ला वार है सेवनटीन सेवेंटी फोर सेवन फर्स्ट मराठा वार सेवनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव टू एटी टू दैन ट्रिटी ऑफ सलवाई सेवनटीन एटी टू दैन सेकेंड मैसूर वार in seventeen eighty two seventeen eighty four first Mysore war was there between seventeen sixty seven to seventeen sixty nine okay uh, in which treaty of Madras was signed and then uh, treaty of Mangalore was signed in uh, second Mysore war I will be uh, making a separate PPT on all these wars and how to remember them okay and the third will be there in seventeen uh, it was around 1789 and then finally in 1799 when my sword falls in the hands of british so then standard jait singh maharaja of banaras uh, which has sting subsequently went in the england so he went back and then after foundation of the asiatic society of bengal was there okay then civil court in each district under dm or district collector then there was no separation of uh, judiciary and uh, the revenue that is dm and district collector were used to be the magistrate also so sadar nizamat adalat was established of higher highest criminal court of appeal then lord cornwallis third mysore war will be happening 1790 to 1792 treaty of seringapatnam okay in 1792 and in there was in second was the treaty of mangalore and in first treaty of madras okay then cornwallis code of 1793 judicial reforms all the judicial reforms took place in the time of lord cornwallis okay and then administration and civil jurisdiction it is also said that the modern uh, judiciary and uh, the civil services is based on uh, his contributions only permanent settlement system of revenue collection in uh, bengal in 1793 was introduced then europeanization of the administrative machinery introduction of civil services europeanization means what happened that you will not get above a certain pay ek pay fix kar diya gaya ki isse zyada pay ka services indians ko nahi milega then john sor uh, charter act of 1793 came and battle of kharda between nizam and marathas theek hai ye kharda ka battle hua tha 1795 mein वो जो एक मूवी है ना पानीपत उसमें वो बेटल ऑफ खारदा को गलत दिखाया है बेटल ऑफ खारदा सेवनटीन नाइन्टी फाइव में हुआ था जबकि जो बेटल उसमें दिखाया गया है 
पानी पर वो बैटल जो है उससे पहले हुआ था तो वो अलग अलग डिपिक्शन है मूवीज आर नॉट ऑलवेज राइट लॉर्ड वेलेजली इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सब्सिडरी अलाइंस सब्सिडरी अलाइंस सिस्टम इन्होंने दिया था कि कोई भी टेरिटरी को अगर तुम जीतो तो उसको अपने अंदर कर लो मेक इट योर सब्सिडरी सब्सिडरी मीन्स विच इज समथिंग दैट इज अंडर यू इट इज़ नॉट इक्वल टू यू दैट इज द सब्सिडरी स्टेट दे वेर देर वेर प्रोविजन लाइक यू कैन नॉट हैव योर मोर आर्मी यू कैन नॉट मेक एनी अलाइंस विदाउट परमिशन ऑफ ब्रिटिश सो इट वॉज कम्प्लीट सरेंडर फोर्थ माइसूर वार सेवेंटीन नाइन्टी नाइन इन हिस्स टाइम ओनली एंड देर इज डेथ ऑफ ब्रेव टिपू सुल्तान हु फाइट वेरी ब्रेवली एंड टेरिस्ट ओके दैन सेकेंड मराठा वार इज देयर एटीन जीरो थ्री टू एटीन जीरो फाइव इन हिस्स टाइम ओनली ही वॉज मीन्स ही वॉज वेरी फ्यूरियस काइंड ऑफ गवर्नर जनरल एंड वॉन्टेड टू कंकर एवरी थिंग सो मैनी फाइट्स एंड मैनी थिंग्स अंडर सब्सिडरी अलाइंस Uh, he actually took over administration of Tanjore, then uh, Surat, Karnataka, Treaty of Basin. He signed with uh, one of the uh, contender of the Peshwa because uh, what happened that uh, at that point he was not going to be the next Peshwa. So he signed an alliance with Lesley that if you help me become Peshwa, I will be helping you control the Maratha territory. Okay. Then uh, George Barlow. Only one thing happened: the Lord Mutiny of eighteen zero six. So nothing much he contributed. Then the Lord Minto first. So in his time, the Treaty of Amritsar with Maharaja Ranjit Singh at that uh, in eighteen zero nine. So at that time, uh, what Amritsar was the center focus of power in the northern part. Um, and uh, Maharaja Ranjit Singh consolidated all the misl. There were twelve misl. All the twelve misl were consolidated into one, the state of Punjab. Due to which, what happened? His army and everything got very strong. He had support of. He took the support of some French in training army with the modern equipments and modern war warring techniques. So. Uh, Britishers were very opportunistic persons. When he, Britishers see that they are much powerful, so they made an uh, friendship treaty with them. And if if your power will come down by eighteen forty eight, eighteen forty nine, after the death of uh, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, it again Britishers will attack and conquer Punjab. So Britishers were opportunistic like virus. Right. So. Now Lord Hastings, eighteen thirteen to eighteen twenty three, ten years of tenure, long tenure, and uh, Anglo Nepal war happened. Treaty of uh, Sagauli is signed. Many a time this is asked Treaty of Sagauli, so you will be remembering it. So Sagauli is in Nepal, so Treaty of Sagauli. Then after third Maratha war will take place eighteen seventeen to nineteen, dissolution of Maratha Confederacy and creation of Bombay Presidency. Okay, so Maratha will. I lose this war, and after that, Maratha Confederacy will come to an end. Peshwa system will come to an end here, and uh, you can see what is happening here is uh, like they are moving ahead. They had first under their control only Bengal. Now they are getting into Bombay and uh, Maharashtra part. Okay, and uh, they are already they have already won the. Mysore battle, so in that region also they are getting gaining the control. So from northern part to southern part they are gaining the control. Then after strife with Pindaris, okay, then treaty of with Sindhya, Sindhya uh, they signed a treaty so that they will cooperate with each other. And uh, Rayotwari system will come here under Thomas Munro, who was governor of Madras at at that time. Okay, then after. Lord Armist, first Burmese War, eighteen twenty four to eighteen twenty six. Actually, Burma was at that time part of India only. So, first Burmese War uh, will take place um, because there were some of the territories and some of the kingdoms that were not supporting the Britishers. Uh, although they were an autonomous, they were free from the Britishers' control. So, they will fight the war in eighteen twenty four to eighteen twenty six. Subsequently, there is capture of Bharatpur. Uh, Maharaja of Bharatpur will be fighting, and the war and the, by eighteen twenty six it will come under the Britishers rule.
uh, okay guys thank you so much this is the first part of the and there are total uh, 20 i think uh, 20 15 uh, governor general so after, in the second part we'll uh, covering the rest of the governor generals and what were their contribution and what important thing uh, we'll seeing that like the william bentick will be coming then after important teacher uh, dalhousie lord canning okay so from here onwards then there will be industrial revolution and related developments coming of indian railways post post system and then after in 1857 first mutiny of independence so we'll be seeing that in the next uh, subsequent lectures lecture and uh, then after we'll uh, see the tricks after all these governor generals have completed we'll see the trick that how you will be remembering uh, all the governor generals in a chronological order only chronological order is important if you have chronology you can like if there are four governor generals name is given uh, like there is cornwallis john soar wellesley and armes to who came first so you will have to arrange them in the sequence generally this kind of question is asked years are asked in the state pcs so we'll be seeing that so guys thank you so much take care of yourself your family stay safe stay healthy okay god bless you guys hello any questions hello thank you so much keep sharing keep liking keep subscribing and keep learning